Hey guys, welcome back to the another video. Let's talk about must have apps for the book lovers because there are so many people they want to know that which apps I use, which is my favorite app, which is my favorite, you know, audiobook app, Kindle app or the books related app. So I usually read most of the books on the Kindle. I do have physical books also, but I try to read most of the books on the Kindle and most of the books also available on the audiobook. So in today's video, I'm going to exp I'm going to show you which are my favorite app or which are the app if you are a book lover, then you should definitely have. The first and the obvious app that you should have is Goodreads. So Goodreads is a collection of books. Jahape, just a Facebook. Hai. Facebook pe sari kam, there are communities about you know friends, families. Then Goodreads is all about friends who loves to read books like you can connect your you know facebook account and you can see their book list you can see what friends are reading what friends are purchasing the book what are their reviews what are the good books what are the top books of 2021 2022 so now the award will again start about on the good reads like which is the best book or the best book book award goes to which book so there are so many awards and there are so many books there are so many you know new authors you can understand new books everything about the books you can comment you can review books you can request arc copies like you can request the publishers and the authors to get free books also so there are so many things you can do into the goodreads so goodreads is something i use for the to note all the books obviously there are two apps i use first one is goodreads and second one is notion but on the notion i keep the non-fiction books on the goodreads is all about just to make the collection of books I have read into the in my lifetime. So Goodreads is first app that you should definitely have. You can either sign up on the website or you can just check out the application there. It's free of cost. Just go on the Play Store and download the app and you can start using the app. The second app which I want to talk about which is my most most favorite app is none other than audio book wala app which is Audible. Audible which is Amazon's Audible which is the most favorite app till now like I have like I have read so many books on the audible like let me show you let me show show the screen to you so you can understand ki how many books i have read how many you know currently also i am listening to the dune which is i am around chapter 7 and if you go on the audible the reason i love audiobook is because it's great there are so many books self-help category then spirituality biography business fiction a lot of available if you check out my library my library is always filled with you know a lot of books like there are 13 titles available into the book and if you go on the discovery then you get to know you know a lot of uh, new books also available but you can discover by it so on the profile if you go and check out like how many like titles 11 badges and if you check out uh, my listening time and you can see that the total have listened to the two months 11 days 22 hours and 24 minutes like this is the total listening time so audio book is something which is really important uh, rather than using spotify or music app try to use the audio while so you can you know finish a lot of books in less amount of time audio usually there are available hindu book hindi books also regional books also storytelling is also available you can check out that app also if you are looking for more regional language book because it's easy to connect when you are listening to your own language like you, if your first language is hindi try to listen books into the hindi so you can do the concentration on other work and you can still listen to the books so this is the second app that i use which is my most favorite app third book basically i use is of the book summary ads which is known as the this app that is story shorts so basically story shorts is a great app you know it's available for free of first year you will get a lot of new books every week you get some books uh, popular books are also available then you know uh, serendipity books a lot of books available here if you go on the discovery feed then you can go about the audio shorts like less than 10 minutes less than 20 minutes full ebooks audio books infographic then category is also available then you know a lot of books available the reason i love this app because it's free of cost and you can get the free trial about this or you can get the unlimited lifetime free subscription if you use the link in the description and you will get the lifetime free subscription about this app just you have to pay one time and you can get that the reason i use this app because there are so many books i read but i try to i like we don't remember each and everything we read unless we reread that again so on this app you can get the short notes about this book or the short summary about each and every book and you can use that summary to just refresh your mind and so so you can recollect all the thoughts 
and you can use that for the better understanding the next app a book lover should have is a kindle app another like another amazon's kindle app just to go on the google just go on the play store and download the amazon kindle app and then if you purchase any kindle book then it will showcase in your amazon kindle and you can start reading that there the reason i love amazon kindle bag which is uh, currently i don't have amazon kindle on my phone because i always carry my kindle device everywhere i go so i don't have to you know worry about the kindle app but if you don't have kindle then it's it's okay i mean you can use the amazon kindle app you will get all the same functions on that and you can download you can read you can carry you can download thousands of books even if you have the prime subscription you can get the free books on that also so try to use the amazon kindle app and you can you will get a lot of free books try to use them try to read them there are a lot of functions available highlight function copy fun copy function share to the whatsapp share to the twitter a lot of functions available into the amazon kindle app someday i will try to make a video review about that if you want me to make that video then make sure you come on down comment down and let me know do you want me to make video on that then i will think about on my next video but amazon kindle app a book lover should definitely have after amazon kindle app there is another bag which is the most most popular or the second popular i will say which is wattpad wattpad is another reading for like for the reading purpose there are so many stories available you can create your you can write your own stories on that you know that platform also so it's really interesting platform usually i don't use that platform anymore because uh, i don't find that much interesting currently because there are so many books available on kindle only i don't have to visit the wattpad but if you are the person who want to you know short stories who want to one paragraph or poems then make sure you download the wattpad app and you can start writing or you can start reading on the wattpad the last app that i want to talk about is none other than the google pay play book which is google specific you know for the reading purpose if you go on the google play book you will find you know on the top search or search of books then here you will find find the ebook or the audiobook section you can get the 200s off on your first or uh, ऑडियो बुक सो ऑडियो बुक्स अवेलेबल यहाँ पे देन बिजनेस एंड इन्वेस्टिंग अ लॉट ऑफ बुक्स अवेलेबल इन द लाइब्रेरी इन द शॉप इफ यू गो ऑन द शॉप देन यू विल फाइंड अ लॉट ऑफ बुक्स फ्री देन वॉट आर द डील्स अवेलेबल न्यू बुक्स अवेलेबल फ्री बुक्स अवेलेबल लाइक देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स अवेलेबल ऑन द गूगल पे दिस इज द सेकेंड मोस्ट फेवरेट ऐप आफ्टर द किंडल आई विल से बिकॉज आई रीड मोस्ट ऑफ द बुक्स ऑन द किंडल एंड इफ आई डोंट गेट द किंडल देन आई विल ट्राई टू डाउनलोड दैट एंड आई ट्राई टू रीड दैट ऑन द गूगल प्ले बुक बिकॉज ऑन द गूगल प्ले बुक अ लॉट ऑफ बुक्स ऑल्सो अवेलेबल सम आर फॉर फ्री सम आर फॉर यू नो फॉर द रीडिंग पर्पज एंड इफ यू टेक एनी नोट्स ऑन दैट इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली सेव टू योर ड्राइव फोल्डर so it become easy to read it's become easy to understand and it become easy in the future also to you know recollect all the thoughts just highlight the point and it will automatically save to the your drive folder so these are the few apps that i believe that every book book lover should have or book reader should book lover should have in their mobile so what are the apps that you are using rather than all, all of these apps obviously there are other apps like moon read then a lot of apps are available but i guess that are don't qualify for me because one one google pay app google play book app which is qualifies all types of format like all the types of books available even though on the kindle and the audio book all types of books available so i don't think we should go for another apps but if you know any of this or any of the other apps that you use then make sure you comment down so i can you start using that i can give you the review what are my thoughts and that on that specific app so these are the five to six apps that you should use make sure you download that i will put the link in the description you can go and download the app if you are looking for the best audiobooks app then check out this video where i shared all the best audiobooks app available that you should check or you should have and you can pick up the best one and if you are looking for the kindle like the best tech website where you can download the kindle books for free then check out this video where i shared how to get free books on the kindle so that's all for the today's video see you in the next one